Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Geminis, and this is going to be short and sweet, okay? It's just a little check-in for you. I'll be using my Cosmic Tarot deck, and then I'll pull you a card from my Moon deck, my Oracle Moon deck. So, to everyone stopping by, darlings, you know I welcome you with open arms and an open heart. Please know I deliver these messages to you from my heart to your heart always. Please take what resonates and leave what does not. So let's see, Gemini, what message or messages we have for you. So Gemini, this is for you. We got the magician. You got all the resources you need within and without. <laughs> oh my goodness, and there you are. You got some magical energy. You hear me, Gemini? You hear me? You got the magician and you got the king of swords here. The king of swords is you. We got the eight of wands, something coming fast. We got the Three of Cups, some celebration not too long ago. We got the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is that you're in your mind and you're thinking about something. I don't know if you're thinking about this magical moment or the celebration that you just had, but you're overthinking something. You got the Four of Cups. You got the Hermit. You might be alone or maybe you've gone within to do some soul searching. You're starting to find yourself. You're doing some healing and you're doing some introspection. There's nothing wrong with that. It's part of self-care. We got the world, successful completion, accomplish something. You got the Ace of Swords, which is about mental clarity, or maybe you're gonna receive some kind of communication you've been waiting for in regards to finances. We got the Ten of Pentacles. And then we got the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Wands is about a new creative beginning for you. We got the Death card, we got the Eight of Cups, and we got the Princess of Wands. Now you're going through a transition, and you feel like walking away from a situation, some type of situation here. Uh, maybe that's why you've gone within to think, maybe something happened in the past that you need to think about. Whatever it is that you're thinking about walking away from, it seems like there was some type of ending and there's a new beginning for you. Maybe that's what you're thinking about. It's time to move on. And you're gonna have some new ideas, okay? You got the Death card, you got the Eight of Cups, and you got the Princess of Wands. And the Princess of Wands also brings in some um, enthusiastic news, okay? We got the King of Cups, we got the Three of Pentacles, and we got the Prince of Pentacles. The King of Cups could be a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio within your environment, or maybe you're feeling extremely emotionally balanced. We got the Three of Pentacles, they got something the universe is building for you, and, and there's nothing you can do with it. It's something to do with your career, finances. And the Prince of Pentacles, you need to get it done. Whatever it is that you're working on, whatever it is that you're procrastinating on, you need to get up and get it done. Okay, you got the King of Cups, you got the Three of Pentacles, and you got the Prince of Pentacles. And then the Six of Cups. And I don't know if something um, coming back from, I don't know if some reunion here, if that's what's going on here with this water energy. I don't know, maybe some kind of uh, reunion. Oh, and I'm going to leave it right there. There might be some kind of water energy coming towards you. Somebody from the past, okay? We got the um, the Six of Cups and we got the Queen of Cups. I'm gonna leave it right there. They usually say, you know, when, when you have a face card, you pull another card, but I really feel there might be somebody from the past coming in here, some kind of water energy. So let's see what other message we have from the Moon Deck. 
not bad, Gemini. That King of Swords, you know, if it's not you, it's showing. It might be an air energy. I'm not sure. But I'm sure that I'm positive that's you, man. That King of Swords is you. All right? So, I meet resistance with kindness. See what that says. I meet resistance with kindness. Card 33. 33 is a good number. Resistance is often a sign that change is happening or wants to happen. Whether we actively call change into our life or it current or its current sweeps us under, change can sometimes feel uncomfortable. If you've hit a wall of resistance, know that this is not the time to quit. This is a powerful moment that is asking you to grow. Breathe, relax, and remain centered. The other side is right there. Allow yourself to expand into possibility, even if there are a few growing pains along the way. You know, in life, I mean, we're moving forward. We will hit some bumps in the road. You know what I'm saying? Just keep moving. Just keep moving. This is exactly where your personal and spiritual practices play a vital role in supporting you. Recall similar moments in the past and how things had a way of working out. Your prior self has gone through so much to get here. Trust her and remember your tools. You're a brave beauty and can meet resistance with kindness. So I know it says her... I guess the card is my my deck is um just saying using the word feminine, you know, the feminine word because it's the moon. Um but this is for anyone, okay? We all have masculine and feminine energy within us. We all do. And the thing about that energy is we need to learn to harmonize it, okay, to balance it. So I know I got I got to balance my masculine energy because sometimes I'm like a spitfire, you know, and I really do need to reel it back a little bit. So I meet resistance with kindness. No matter what's going on, babies, I think you got something coming for you. Something from the past, darlings. I love you. You take care of yourselves and we definitely will chat soon.